Hey, 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 welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we're doing an episode of Hot and Cold. If you're new to this series, this is something I like to do where I talk about the best and worst music I heard over the past week. These are known as the hot, the cold, uh, the best and worst, respectively. For this week's episode, we'll be looking at any songs released between April 7th and April 13th, 2019. Let's just jump right into it. For the hot, we start with the positive here. Let's go. First up, we have the new Beaches single. This one's called Snake Tongue, and I was really thrown off at first. Like, it sounds like this electronic kind of song. We get, like, this electronic drum beat. We get, like, these lo-fi cymbal crashes. The lyrics, I will admit, sounded cringy at first. And the more I play this song, though, those uh, kind of weird feelings I have for it are slowly actually more quickly disappearing. So yeah, I'm loving the new Beaches single. It didn't really click with me at first, but uh, I am loving it now. Moving on from there, we have a new single from Courtney Barnett. She is an alternative rock singer. She is also in a rock band. Uh, she has released a song. This one's called Everybody Here Hates You. Such a mean song title, you know? Like, why would you want to listen to that? But if you're listening to a song that just really kicks ass and really just has a lot of energy to it, I really recommend listening to this. In the past, yes, Courtney Barnett is really known for that deadpan, um, pretty mundane delivery of vocals. She has like this garage rock sound to her, but uh, man, this song just has a lot of energy and it's very catchy, one of my favorite songs of the year. Moving on from there, we have a new song from Silver Sun Pickups. This one is called Doesn't Matter Why. This one starts with like this acoustic guitar that is very catchy. And then by like the bridge, what this is the part that really won me over, just the, the, the strings in the left channel um, very infectious, very, ugh, just good. This is the lead single for their new album that will be coming out this year. Um, I've heard this band before, and I should know where they're from, but it doesn't matter why, and that's what they're telling me in the song, so we're moving on. This next song, though, um, comes from Black. He's a, a rapper. Um, haven't been a fan of his music very much until this song. Uh, this one kind of took me for a loop, if that's the saying. Took me for a loop, took me for a spin. It really just caught me off guard. It features Jesse Reyes. Reyes? Reyes? Anyways, it's called Imported. Um, I don't like Jesse's singing, um, but the rest of the song is great. And I, I was thinking like, well, if, if one thing could really ruin a hot track, I, I don't really want to say it does. It's, it's still a good song. I just feel like the storytelling is very interesting. It captivates me, kind of holds me on the edge of my seat while I'm listening to it. I'm, I'm itching to hear what the next line is. I just feel like it's that relatable. Yes, and uh, moving on from there, a very sad song, uh, Cage the Elephant. They released uh, another single for Social Cues. That's their new album that's coming out on uh, April 19th. Yes, on April 19th, Social Cues comes out. Uh, this new song though, Goodbye, so sad. Um, pff, we get like these very low droning, sad tones. We get like the string section that just is, ah, uh, just brings me to tears. The lyrics though, heart-wrenchingly sad. Listen to it. Last week, uh, yes, Anderson Pack put out his new album. Really liking the one song on here. It's called Come Home. Um, yes, it was released last week. It features Andre 3000 from Outkast. More of the soul kind of funky song. Just, just great fun. And um, yeah, Andre 3000 sounds great. He sounds hilarious. And it's, uh, it's a good song. That's all I'll say. And just as a shout out for this week on the, the hot tracks here, it's one of the last ones I will mention here. Uh, Young the Giant, they have a, a new song. Not really new. It was already put out last year. They've already put out a, a couple versions of it, actually. It's called Superposition. This is the third released uh, Superposition that they've done so far. This one is a reflection. And you know what? It switches up the style enough that like, I can tell it's a different kind of vibe going for it. It's a little more uh, serious. Very dramatized, yes, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a great song still. And now on to the middle of the road tracks of the week. These are not the best, not the worst either. They're just something in the middle, you know? That's why it's called middle of the road. God, I sound like a, such a condescending person there. I'm sorry. Don't think I'm condescending. And a lot of these, I feel like, are the, the ones that a lot of people would know about the artists. They got a lot of buzz around them. So I feel bad for just saying they're just meh. But at the same time, it's like, well, 
I'm giving you my straight up honest opinion and I wouldn't want to lie through my teeth to tell you that these songs are absolutely amazing. But yeah, kicking that off, we have a new song from Avicii. This one is called SOS. It features Aloe Black. Aloe Black, I've only really heard him on like one of his songs from uh, I think a baseball video game. Yes, I love talking about baseball. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing these hats in the last few videos. Anyways, with Aloe's if that's how you pronounce his name, how he his vocal performance on here, I just feel like it's been heard before. It has a little influence of like um, TLC's No Scrubs, but yeah, I will say the electronic production from Avicii is quite captivating. We get like this Eastern influence on that um, that feels pretty original, feels pretty fresh, and it's like with Avicii's death, rest in peace, by the way. Um, he, he was still ahead of the curve to know that like this sound was going to be somehow relevant in today's age. But it's still impressive when you put out a song that sounds like it's a little ahead of the game, a little ahead of the curve. Stylistically is what I'm saying. Ah. Moving on from there, we have a new Tame Impala single. This one's called Borderline. The last single we heard from him, uh, I can't even remember what I thought of that song, which isn't really a good thing. If I could only remember, why can't my brain remember? Anyways, this one is more focused on the groove again. I feel like the vocals, the, the melody for sure doesn't really add much to this song. Maybe I did like that last song and I'm just making stuff up at this point. Anyways, it's middle of the road for me. Uh, moving on from there, Mark Ronson, he has a new single out. I really enjoyed that last one he put out with uh, Miley Cyrus, Nothing Breaks Like a Heart. In fact, I loved it so much it was on my best songs of the year from 2018 video, and uh, yes, it's still there, so if you do want to recollect, it is on the channel. Anyways, this new song is featuring Licky Lee. I'm Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. This one's called Late Night Feelings. Uh, a very breathy vocal performance. Not really a big fan of that, but the production is it's okay. It's pretty decent. Moving on from there, Marin Morris and the Lumineers put out songs uh, separately in support of Game of Thrones. Yes, Game of Thrones, the final season. Let's get hyped. Uh, I've never watched an episode in my entire life. Um, I'm always late to the game when it comes to TV shows. It took me I don't know how many years after the fact that Breaking Bad aired, and then I watched it after I knew the ending. Still a little salty about that. Anyways, maybe I should probably start watching Game of Thrones. About the music though, there's this soundtrack kind of paired along with this final season. Um, I feel like I should have been watching this show or like should be watching it to be able to comment on how the music ties in. I don't even know if the music's been played on any specific episode yet. But it's got this dramatic feel to it, obviously, because this show is pretty dramatic. I've been told it's pretty funny, too. Um, Peter Dinklage is a great actor, apparently. I'll start with the Marin Morris track. This one's called Kingdom of One. Um, this one's pretty boring. I didn't really enjoy much of her, her new album. She's a country artist. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of her music is pretty bland, pretty run of the mill and this isn't really much of an exception uh it builds towards like this very edgy uh lyrical kind of focus and then for the lumineers song uh, we get some cool piano in there i guess uh lumineers at this point i'm not really the biggest fan of them no knock against them if you do like them and then that's great, just not for me. Yeah, that new song is called Nightshade by the Lumineers. I didn't think I said that, but there we go. Another middle of the road track this week, Ellie Golding made a return. Um, she has been putting out a couple singles every now and then. Uh, this one's called 16. I feel like in the chorus, we get like this throwback vibe from her. It's, it sounds pretty good. However, it's more like the verses I'm just lost and I, I just don't really find myself fully focused when I even tell myself to sit down and listen to this song. Now wrapping up the middle of the road section here, we have a few songs from Kevin Abstract. He is from Brockhampton. He put out like this single that um, isn't really a single, it's three songs. It could be seen as like an EP, I guess. The songs are called Big Wheels, Joyride, and Georgia. One of them's pretty short, the others are like three and a half minutes long. Um, Kevin sounds like he's doing the stuff that he would normally do for, like, Brockhampton. Um, yeah, it's just... I need more listens to them to really make a, an informed opinion, because I've only heard them a few times, but, um... 
I don't really see anything good with them. I don't really see anything bad. <sighs> and now wrapping up this week, we have the cold tracks. These are the worst songs of the week and really just goes to Marshmallow for his new EP. Also three songs. Uh, Roll the Dice is one of the songs on here. Don't Save Me and First Place. Those are the other two titles. And um, yeah, it's, just, it's trap music. And for Marshmallow, he is usually known for more of his pop kind of sounds. Whoever's doing the vocals on here, I think Sob, S-O-B, and R-B-E. I don't know if you pronounce them as like uh, an acronym, whatever. But um, yeah, these are just very trap, banger kind of beats. Pretty stale, pretty repetitive, but um, yeah, those are the worst for the week. Gonna make it quick because I don't want to dwell on the negatives. We should all focus on the positives more in life. Anyways, that's hot and cold. Sound off down below in the comments, leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town. I will catch you next week in another installment of Hot and Cold. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and as always, have a rockin' day.